Tommy freaking DeVito. Even though the Giants are having a pretty bad season, he's been one of the spotlights, you know, with injuries to Tyrod Taylor and Danny Dimes. Tommy DeVito has stepped up for this organization and has given them something to cheer on about. And we're going to see in this video if we rebuilt the Giants around this man's DeVito. Tommy doesn't even have a face card in Madden. He's a 59 overall. This is so bad, dude. But his stats aren't too bad, you know, for 59. I think why his stats are a little bit lower is probably his awareness, right? Yeah, his awareness is a 60, so his stats will probably be better if we bump that up. So that's what we're going to do. We're not going to make him go too insane, but I think for the sake of the video, we'll make him star dev, you know, star potential. But it's going to be tough because they have they have Daniel Jones, right? They have literally just re-signed him, I think, to like a four-year deal, if I'm mistaken. And we got to... Well, we'll make something happen. We'll give uh, Danny... Danny. Um, we'll give Tommy 72... 72 awareness give him star dev see how he goes from there with us changing that he's now at a 60 um and we want to feel general offense not a west coast spread oh wait no wait what we want him to be field general like it says devito but he's a scrambler but we'll make him feel general it'll work out so hopefully hopefully it plays out well um we're not gonna make any much more changes to the team i like the defense i do like the defense maybe we'll change them to base three four see if we get more more pressure that way base three four is the same thing nonetheless so <laughs> for the three four under but the giants hopefully will have a better better finish compared to what they have right now corners are pretty solid though and linebacker core i really like what they have going on here and yeah so let's um let's sim through the season see how that goes and actually, before we do that, let's take a look at Daniel Jones's uh, salary. If there's anything we can do about it. Nope. We would just take a massive L if we try to move on from him. Makes sense. $131 million penalty. If we, like, cut him, I think. But if we trade him, I don't think we take a penalty. But nonetheless, let's go through the first year. So we're actually, we just beat the Jets 19-17. And we're 3-5. and five. Uh, Okay better than i thought um statistics shows tommy is actually 14th in passing touchdowns. he has 10 touchdowns 11 picks 11 got sacked 11 times okay could be better but could be worse honestly saquon's actually going off too so got got that god bless for saquon but okay not too bad not too bad considering he's also a rookie too so tommy keep doing your thing i'm actually shocked about it. we're three and five i can't complain with that Three and five facing the Raiders. Uh, let's see. And Tommy's at a 63 now. Okay. So he's going up there. They let Matt Burita take his picture with a do-rag on? <laughs> I, I've never seen that before. <laughs> but okay. So Tommy's here. 63. Hopefully keep things going. Maybe keep these guys in contention for the playoffs. But nonetheless, uh, let's keep it going. So again, with Madden being like Madden, we go three and five and then four and 13. Like, I hate, like, Madden pisses me off with that. Like, that actually is very aggravating. Offense finished 29th. Tommy had 25 interceptions, 17 touchdowns. Bro, like, no, no. That's, Tommy would not have regressed that bad, right? So, we're going to do a lot and make sh make it where our guys eat because that's, no. I'm not accepting that. I swear, every franchise, it's always the Cowboys and the Chiefs that go to the Super Bowl. Those guys are always just locked in, right? Just all the time. And Dak actually won NFL MVP, but Lamar wins Offensive Player of the Year. I I guess that makes sense. Cool. So, staff week, we re-signed, or we got, new, um, we got a new OC and DC. So, hopefully, they'll be able to help out what, what went wrong. Uh, that's that's step number one. Coaches that fit the scheme, so that's we're gonna be committed to them. We have about seventy-one million dollars, but we have thirty-two players ready to negotiate. Oh man, Saquon, Saquon, you definitely gotta come back, bro. Definitely, big time. Four-year deal. Welcome back, Saquon. One of the core pieces of the team. Xavier McKinney has no interest to resign, but I'd like to have you back. So give you a five-year deal. He's back long-term, locked up that safety. 
Isaiah Simmons inside linebacker. Didn't really do much. Bobby Okereke is actually pretty better. So we're going to let Isaiah Simmons walk. Adoree Jackson has interest to join back. He wants a one-year deal worth about like $7 million. So we'll give him two years, and uh, we get him back. So we lock up him. Paris Campbell, we're going to let go. Isaiah Hodgins, 25 years old, young receiver. I'm going to give him a three-year deal. Hopefully, he sticks around, and he does. Uh, Sterling Shepard, goodbye. Darnay Holmes, with Deontay Banks, Cordell Flott. Odori Jackson. All right, yeah, I'll commit to this. I'll commit to the, Ooh, he says he'll test free agency. My fault. Nick McLeod will let go. Jay Tufel, Gerard Davis, Josh Corbin, Tyree Phillips of tackle. Um, No, we already have Matt Pert. We, yeah, we already have Matt Pert. So, Gunner Osowski. You're really here for, like, kick return duties, right? So, and he said he'd like to play for a new team next year. So, we'll let that go. Tommy DeVito, our guy, quarterback. Hello. We'll give you a five-year deal. Tommy, welcome back. I almost did not. Good thing I kept looking at this because, Tommy, this is about you, my friend. This is all about you. And uh, Matt Barkley will let go. Justin Pugh, 34-year-old left guard. I'm good on him. We're just going to revamp positions. This is going to be a big rebuild because we don't even have the money for these guys. We really don't. We have about $26 million. We re-signed the players we needed to. So... That's that's good, but uh, 26 million to work with. We don't have a left guard. We don't have a left end. So let's see what young pieces we can pick up through free agency first. I see Gabe Davis is here. That's not a bad option. It's not a bad option. Uh, Nite Muti. I think um, I'll try to sign him to a two-year deal just for debt purposes and a left end that we also need. Taekwon Lewis has interest. One-year deal worth about five mil. We'll give him that too. Uh, want to get a kicker. Definitely want to get a kicker. Uh, Chase McLaughlin, Cameron Dicker, Riley Patterson has interest. I like a guy who has interest on the squad, so we'll pick him up. Graham Gano, I forgot, is on the team, so that's great. Inside linebacker, we have Josie Jewell. He'd want to pair up here with Bobby Okereke. We run a 3-4, so... Um, is he... Nah, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. We, are, we already have Bobby, so we could get a younger guy. He got a younger guy to put across the middle, like Devin Bush. He has more interest. Give him about, like, a two-year deal. Yeah, he probably wouldn't join that. We could honestly draft someone, too. So let's uh, withdraw that. We'll definitely withdraw that. Uh, Kaiser White has so much interest to join, though. Um, let's see. Yeah, but we won't, we'd only have, like, 11 million left with. So it's interesting. Uh, D Lineman. Do we need D lineman? We kind of do. Derek Nadi. No, we already have Dexter Lawrence. Never mind. We don't need D lineman. We need D ends. That's what we need. Leonard Williams, you left us, remember? <laughs> Durant's Armstrong. See, this would be a good position to get here. Durant's Armstrong, he'd fit the scheme. Put Rocky Notes, Nunez, Noches on the bench. Okay. So we, let's see if we get those. It's light, it's a light free agency, but there's not much we could do with it anyways. So it's advanced to the week. And I think um, I think we should probably go for a receiver as well, uh, cause like he isn't really besides Saquon as an option. We only have Isaiah Hodgins who we re-signed. We also have Darius Slade. Oh, I forgot Darren Waller's on the team, so I guess we have him back for another season. And O line could be so much better, like guards, all the all that play. We just have such a young squad. Daniel Jones, I really don't want to have to insert you back into the lineup. We're going to let you have your torn ACL and just keep going from there. And receiver core, oh uh, yeah, I'd move on from Darius Slade. I think that I think that's fair. Durant's Armstrong, we ended up getting him and Taekwon Lewis. So D-line has been revamped. Corners are good. Safeties are okay. Linebacker position is what I really want to fix. Because for some reason, our linebackers don't want to pass rush or they're in the wrong position so aziz is a speed rusher aziz is a speed rusher but i feel like Kayvon is a power rusher so maybe if we swap their positions yeah yeah so if we swap their positions they'll get it okay so perfect so Kayvon will move you to the other side of the field we'll put you at left that's a linebacker and then aziz will be at right out to linebacker this is gonna work out nicely i think yeah, this is going to work out nice. Wait, is it? Well, who knows? Who knows? We're going to just move him to the right outside. Hopefully that fits. 
and these guys should help with the pass rush because they draft they got drafted they got drafted to this team so they should be able to handle business on the pass rushing side so we got them both there we got boogie bash and we just need one more person for depth purposes and we just need to get a backup another backup uh linebacker and inside linebacker and the defense is all pretty much set yeah uh let me see if we also got the kicker as well because we tried to get a uh, that young guy i forget his name we didn't we didn't even get him we still have graham gano all right yeah let's cut out our offer for that other kicker and move on from there because bro that's a big penalty 12 million for a kicker that's a lot of money right there targeted all right so we're gonna withdraw our offer here my friend sorry about that and Nitain, we're waiting on you. We're waiting on you to join the squad, so that that's on you. So we have the third pick in the draft. So with this pick, I'm definitely going to trade back. I don't want to draft too early. The Saints drafted Joe Alt. I forgot he was available. I don't want a quarterback, though, so we're going to leave that at that. A tight end would be nice, but I don't know. Brock Bowers would be a generational prospect, but we have Darren Waller. And I don't even think we can move on from the players we got anyways, like, Darren Waller's taking up a lot of cap. Yeah, 14 mil. I don't feel like you losing 14 mil right now. How about Daniel Jones? Can we move on from him? No. For 116 million penalty. 116 million. So we're screwed at that. But we could move on from Darius Slayton. And I've been thinking about it. Why don't we try to trade away Darius Slayton for a guard? Maybe for a guard. This could actually work out in our favor. Tevin Jenkins, Nate Davis. They have two right guards, though. It's not too bad. We might have to look at that. But let's see if there's any other teams here. Oh, the Cardinals have Robert Hunt and Will Hernandez. He's about 28. Or a union. <laughs> or a union would be interesting, but we're not going to go with that. Sam Cosme, Ricky Stromberg, Zach Martin. Eagles have two guys here. Chris Lindstrom, Spencer Burford, Brandon Scherf. Max Mitchell, West Schweitzer. Kevin Zeiler went to the Lions. Okay. James Daniels, he's about 26 years old. He'd be $11 million cap it. I'll take him. I would take James Daniels. They want a pick. What do they want instead? We'll give you guys a six round pick in Darius Slane for James Daniels. No, they're like, nah, we need something more. So how about a fourth rounder? A fourth rounder in Darius Slane, they're like, no. A four and a six. And Darius Slain for James Daniel. They're like, no. All right, so looks like we're giving up a fourth and a fifth and Slain for a starting right guard. I can't complain. I think that's a pretty good deal. We get a new right guard. And we have the third pick in the draft. We could either move back or... Hold on. Let's see what offers we get if we trade it away. So, wow. This is a lot. <laughs> Bengals for our first round pick, right? We would get a first of next year. A third of this year, a second of this year, a fourth of this year, a fifth of next year, and a seventh of next year. That's crazy. Bills are giving us a first of this year, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, a seventh, and a second of next year. Vikings are giving us a first and a fourth and a sixth of next year. Titans are giving us a first, second, third, fourth, and sixth. Raiders are giving us a first, second, fifth, and seventh. That's nothing. Jets, are, ooh, nah. Niners are giving us a two firsts. A second of this year. A third. Oh, my gosh, dude. <laughs> Eagles, first, second, four, six. Colts. Okay, so best option, I think, might be the Bills is looking nice. Bills is looking nice. I like the idea of a first of next year, though. With the Niners. A first of next year for our rebuild, I think, is pretty. You know what? We're going to go with that. They're giving us two firsts, dude. We might as well. We might as well go for that. <laughs> Like, I want to see who the Niners pick up, though. They get Marvin Harrison. Wow. Okay. Wow. I forgot this was that draft class. That's a very, very good pick, I think. But nonetheless, we need people. And a receiver is on our radar. And there's either between Emeka Egbuka, a slot receiver. He would fit. Oh, oh, F deep route running. Oh, no, 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 no. Xavier Worthy, though. Hello. Are you worthy to join our squad? Let's see. B to D release, C catching, A to C deep route, C to F catching traffic. He's the fastest receiver. He's the fastest receiver? Come join the squad. 97 speed? 
Oh my gosh. Xavier Worthy, welcome to the squad from Texas. Bo Nix just went to the Eagles? Bro, what? What? Right tackle. This right tackle is actually pretty good. And he's the fastest. All right. I'll draft him. Why not? We'll get up. Evan Neal. Well, another product from Alabama. That's another tackle from Alabama. Hey, listen. We need <laughs> We had to do that. So, yeah, I can't be mad at me for that. Tight end would be a good position to go after right now. Uh, let's see. Tight end. We have a Benjamin Eurosec from Stanford. He has C to F catching traffic, B to D catching F run block. Yeah, this guy's pretty much trash, so I'm good on him. There's a Jaheim Bell from Florida State. D catching traffic. I'm not really a fan of that either. Luke Latchley. He has C catching traffic, A deep route, C to F run block, A to C catching. And he's whatever, too. Um, and last person here is Baylor Cup from Texas Tech. He has good run block, but it's not nothing else that's really eye-opening for me there. Safeties, tight ends, corners. Oh, inside linebacker would be needed. Jack Kaiser, field general. A zone coverage, A block shed? Whoa. You know what? I'm going with Jack Kaiser. That's a de gem right there, for sure. Pair him up with uh, Bobby Okereke. So... Oh, these picks are pretty good. I like what we've done so far. We'll draft recap. Ooh, we got some gems here. Uh, they, they still ended up getting that tight end I said no to. Come on. Come on. But the right tackle was a 75. Jack Kaiser was a 75. And Xavier Worthy was a 77. So pretty good. Pretty good draft class, I'd say. Those first three picks were just gems. And um, let's go preseason week one. So I like I like what we did there. So Evan Neal is on the hot seat pretty much. Um... I don't know what I'm going to do because Evan Neal is like this trash at tackle, unfortunately. And he's just going to be a backup, I guess. Because unless like, and we just signed, we just traded for James Daniels. So we can't really do much with him. We can move Mark Lewinsky for cap room. Uh, left guard, we have Nite Muti. He ended up signing with us. So, yeah, so Mark Lewinsky, we can move around. I don't know if what we could get for it. You know what, Evan Neal? Nah, let's move on from Evan Neal. It makes sense because he's been trash in real life. So why would we even like act like we we want him long term? Nah, we really don't. Xavier Worthy's receiver one though. So ah, Daniel Jones is back. I'm sorry, but Tommy is the starter. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, Tommy is the starter. And O line is looking good though. O line, no. Can we? Nah. Can we reorder that? Yeah, so Neatane's at the left side. Uh, Daniel Jones. Tommy DeVito, we're going to put there. Defense, though, I love this. Look at what we got going on. The new linebacker, he's going to be next to Okereke. Mike McFadden's backing up. D-line is still pretty good. Um, corner, bro, we, yo, Giants fans, I'm doing something here. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. And Tommy, Tommy, you got the, it's all in your hands, my friend. It's all in your hands. So, Actually, let's go through the preseason. See how well Daniel Jones and Tommy play. So they won 24-3. Let's take a look at that game. So Daniel Jones had two touchdowns, one pick. Tommy was 100% completion. Okay. Daniel Jones threw a pick, though. Come on. Got to gotta do better than that. Xavier really had one catch, seven yards. It probably took him out. Isaiah Hodgins turned up. Okay. Okay. Week two is against uh, another team that's 1-0. I think that is the Titans. So let's see how that goes. They lost 26-14. to Training camp standout. All right, this is, the, this is important. This is important. Who stood out? Deontay Banks. Okay, man coverage. Cool. <laughs> I thought it would be someone on the offense. He received plus five man coverage? I should have put zone. Actually, no, man coverage is better. I mean, threw two picks in the next game and also threw a touchdown. So, Tommy, bro. We need you. We need you. Come on. We need to figure out who's starting, even though it will be us. But <laughs> we need to figure out who's starting for this um, this season. So beat the Bengals. Show us why you should be QB1. We lost 34 to 24. We have to cut four players to meet the quota. Um, Matt Cow Colburn. I don't even know who you are. Who is this guy? Mark Gilbert, bench cornerback. We're going to cut him. 
uh, Jordan Mims, I'll move you to the practice squad. Manny Jones or Jordan Riley practice squad. And I guess we're set. All right, cool. All right, cool. That's cool with me. Let's see how this game went, though. Schedule, team schedule, preseason, lost 24 to 34. Tommy, 273 yards, 77 completion percentage through one touchdown. Okay, great performance. Daniel Jones, trash. Got sacked twice. No. So, Tommy's the starter. Hey, we, we gave Daniel a chance, right? So, now he gets to be the backup. You know, you got injured, and Tommy DeVito swept the league and took everything by storm, and now he's the guy. We have an 83 offense, 84 defense. We have another camp standout. That's perfect. That's perfect. Let's see what what's, what was said. Every year, there's players who bring out... Is this Deontay Banks? It is. Okay, so Deontay Banks is him, so that's good. One of the Giants draft picks are doing something. That's good. What else we got? Opening day keys, upgrade players. Colts week one. Xavier Worthy. Oh, I forgot we drafted Xavier Worthy. So that's going to be a nice combo. Season goal this year. I'll say seven wins because making the playoffs with the Cowboys and Eagles in this division is just another. That's just a tough task. But nonetheless, week one's here. Facing the Colts. I'm very excited. I think uh, we'll do well. Tommy's the starter. Daniel Jones is backing up. We have a good offensive, good looking offensive line. Xavier Worthy's already a 79. So that's good. We're going to use him quite a bit. Defense, I love the defense. It's probably my favorite part of this of this team. But let's face Jonathan Taylor and the Colts. All right, so here we are. Xavier Worthy's to the left. We got our first drive here. Boom. Whoa. Wendell Robinson catches it, but I thought he was running a drag, and he just stopped short. That scared me. But, okay. TR pickup. But we got to utilize Xavier Worthy's speed, right? Like, we might as well hit him with a play action, see if they bite. It's one-on-one. -on -one. And we get sacked. I was about to load the I was about to launch the ball and then we got cracked. Didn't even have enough time. So that's more like the that's the Giants right there. Now we have a third and twelve. Let's see. Hopefully they don't send another blitz. Oh, Isaiah Hodgins might be open. Oh, uh, we overthrew him, bro. Come on. We gave up some points. We're down. We're about to be down big time. 14 zip. Third down alert. They put us in this game. All right. They put us here. Third and six. Wendell's in. Maybe hit up. Hold on. Whoever's going to get open. Boom. Jesus. He had to make a huge catch because Tommy put it out of place for him. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Offense. Moving the ball well. I like it. We have. We're at the nine yard line. See if we get some slants going on here. See if someone can get open. That's a pick. What am I doing, guys? He's not even open. He's not even open. I'm throwing an interception right at him. I'm making Tommy look bad. The dude was sitting right there in coverage. All right, so instead of throwing at the goal line, why don't we run the ball? Why don't we, you know, use Saquon? We just re-signed him to some big money here. So Saquon gets about two yards. No, no wonder why we're not running the ball. Hit him with a play action. Hey, maybe Worthy could get open here. Play action. No one's there. Worthy. I. S hey, he was open, though. He was open. This Tommy just can't throw all of a sudden. And we need to go for it on fourth and two. We have to go for it. I might run it here. I might just run it. I'm going to run it. Oh, my gosh. They sent a blitz, bro. How did you guys know? Oh, my goodness. You know, I'm just not even going to bother playing offense because I can't do anything right. We're down 28 zip getting smoked at the crib hopefully oh they got a garbage time touchdown so we lose 7 to 28 i like he didn't even tommy didn't even play that bad i just do all right he threw another interception but anthony richardson oh my gosh saquon got limited oh man this isn't good defense we got harassed by the colts all right well that was not a good start and we are one in six one and six. You can't make this up. Seven touchdowns, eight picks for Tommy. Wow. Saquon doesn't even have that many rushing yards either. That is so sad. Wow. I guess I did not develop Tommy as good as I thought. Um. Well, since we're one and six, I'm probably not going to make the playoffs. Uh, my best bet is to just have Tommy be like, you know what? We got nothing to lose. We're just going to play, have fun, enjoy the rest of the season. I mean, everyone's morale is down. Everyone's morale is down, but... 
Tommy's like, you know what? We'll be all right. We'll be okay, and um, we'll figure it out. And I think that's what we're going to do. Um, so I don't know what trait we could give him <laughs> for that, but 1 in 6 is not good. It is not good at all. So he already has star dev penalty. He's disciplined, throw ball away, sense pressure. Let's say he's aggressive, fights for extra yards, QB style. Let's change him to a scrambling quarterback. Okay. High motor, yes. Say give him high motor. Covers the ball for all hits, fights for extra yards, trigger happy. Yeah. We have nothing to lose. They, 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 well, then we'll give him 80 awareness. He has nothing to lose. So let's let's give him that. Maybe he'll finish better. You know, Daniel Jones is watching in disappointment. <laughs> I mean, we're trying to make Tommy the guy as much as possible. I mean, we're facing a one in six Saints. Like, there's not really much hope. But because realistically, at this point, we'd be looking for a new QB. But all right, let's see. Let's see if we can figure it out. Wow. So we went one and six and it finished seven and ten. Way better than I thought we'd finish. Okay. So that's not bad. Seven touchdowns for Tommy. He finished with 23 touchdowns and 17 picks. 89 passer rating, got sacked only 30 times, 1,200 yards for Saquon. Okay, okay. Xavier Worthy had a pretty solid season. All right, not bad. So I guess making those little adjustments did make us do do a little bit better. Seven wins, 10 losses. Giants are due for more. So we got to make this last, this next season, the best one yet. Super Bowl, of course, is Chiefs and Eagles. Like, why not? Why wouldn't the Chiefs be in there, right? Drake May made the Pro Bowl. That's great. Uh, receivers, Xavier Worthy obviously did not sneak in. Offensive line, we didn't have anyone sneak in, of course. D-line, no one besides Dexter Lawrence made it. That's that's cool. Uh, corners, we had no one. Safety, Xavier McKinney made it. See, and you wanted to leave, my guy? Come on, bro. You wanted to leave, and yet you're doing well? Like, that's that's messed up. Super Bowl, I'm going to have to say, because the Chiefs lost the, fall, the past season, I'm going to say they're going to win this one. Yeah, like I said, they won. 28 to 26, not bad. Offensive rookie of the year went to Drake. Man, he got drafted to the Seahawks. Wow. Jalen Hurts won NFL MVP. Legereus Sneed wins MVP for the Chiefs for the Super Bowl. Okay. Max Crosby won Defense Player of the Year. So, all right. You know, it went all over the place, but not too bad. Not too bad. Now we get to re-sign players with our $27 million. We already re-signed Saquon, so we're good. And so with same with Tommy DeVito. So we're kind of we're kind of set there. Hopefully it's not no crazy, like important people so 11 players 27 million ah uh, okay we'll accept his option james daniels i like you so hopefully you join back we give you a four-year deal we get him back so perfect jason pinnock has no plans on returning to us but i'll give you a three-year deal would you join oh he does okay cool so he stays aziz did you how many sacks did our team have i don't even we didn't even look at that what am i doing i didn't even look at that that's like super important like <laughs> Why did I not look at that? How did Kayvon... We just literally looked at the offense or the uh, the de no the offense and was just like, all right, bet. So defense, sacks, right? So Kayvon had five and a half. Dexter had eight. Dorrance Armstrong had seven and a half. Perfect. Uh, Aziz had half a sack as a starting outside linebacker. Wow. You are not getting re-signed at all. Jack Kaiser, our, start, our rookie linebacker, had one pick. He forced the fumble. He had 109 total tackles, one and a half sacks. Okay, can't complain. Him and Bobby Okereke did their thing in the middle. So we lose Aziz Ojolari. So it looks like that's going to be a position we're going to draft because you have half a sack for a whole year. I don't care what like what it is, dude. If you play the whole year at half a sack, you are not you are not good. Sorry, just that's just what it is. Evan Neal, I'm not accepting your fifth year option. Aziz wants to come back on a three year deal. How what's the cap though? What's the cap? Okay, so he's not going to cost too much if we re-sign him. So, all right. So, he's not going to cost too much, but I still want to draft someone. Aaron Robinson. Uh, re-sign you. Cool. So, two-year deal. Keep that cornerback crew chilling. We need a new left end. I think that's more important. Yeah, that might be more important. And Boogie Basham, we're going to let go. He wants more? He wants more than... He wants more than... uh, What's his name? Aziz. So, that's interesting. We have about $6 million, though. And with this draft, we're going to have to use our first rounder on the left end. I guess that makes sense. Uh, we don't have a tight end, apparently. I guess I'm assuming that Darren Waller probably left. Darren Waller did not leave, so he's still here. We have Dan Bellinger. You know what? Maybe we'll just rock with our tight ends, trade, trade away Darren Waller. He's about 32 years old. 
So that does not look like Darren Waller whatsoever. But let's see if a team has some interest in him. No team really has an interest. So our best bet is to just uh, wing it. They want us to go for a routes linebacker. I don't. I think our best bet is going for left end. Left end, maybe for depth, right? Maybe we'll just trade trade him away for a depth piece. No, not even like a real like starter. And we got Chop Robinson. Okay, he's just a beast, right? Miles Murphy. Miles Murphy. No, they won't. They can't even afford him. All right, who could afford him? Cardinals can. They. Oh no, that's the Buccaneers. What do they have? What do they have that they could give us? A running back. We don't need a running back. Why did I say that? <laughs> a left end, Kalijah Kansi. This wouldn't go through, obviously. But it's low-key could. It low-key could. And our biggest need is a left end. So, huh. Kalijah Kansi is not a bad idea. We might throw in a pick in there, too. But I also want to see the draft class. Let's look at the draft class, see what left ends they got. See combine results. Left end. What do we got here? Round one to two. Yeah, we don't have Jack. But we need a run stopper, though. Gary Dwyer. B block shed. D finesse move. B power move. A tackling. Great strength. He has good excel. Marginal speed. A to C play rec. Oh, you know what? Gary Dwyer might be the guy we go with with our first round pick. So, all right. So, with that being said, well, I guess we'll keep Darren Waller for another season. Let him be the guy there. Um, we have about $7 million. I think I'm going to want to draft, or not draft, sign a punter. Tommy Townsend has so much interest. All right, so come join the squad. We have no depth either, so I think you'll, think you'll be all right. I <laughs> think you, you won't have a bad time with trying to win the job. Left end, we have Cam Sample. See, this would be, oh, I would love to get him, but we can't. John Kominsky, we can't get him either. We don't have any money, so we have about $4 million. We might as well go to the draft. The 10th pick in the draft, I think that's a pretty reasonable place to get that left end. So hopefully, he's still sitting there. Chris Poe, right tackle, just went away. We also have the 21st pick, courtesy of the Niners. Thank you very much. So let's go with that left end. He's still there. Gary Dwyer, he's a run stopper. We'll pick him up. Normal dev, but he should be a pretty good overall. I mean, I like I, I liked what he had going from USF and then we also have another first round pick now this I don't know what we could go with here I actually don't know I want to take a look at our team first we just got a new left end so we're set there but lineup wise maybe a left guard Tommy DeVito is at a 75 by the way uh, maybe a left guard Xavier Worthy's chilling here receivers are okay maybe a tight end tight end could be a very big one or outside linebacker we have Durant's Armstrong, and yet, okay, I totally forgot we had him. Why did they disrespect him like that? So corners are okay, so maybe outside linebacker. I mean, I know we re-signed Ojolari, but we still could keep him on his heels, and we could have a fearsome rotation. So let's see what's available. Right outside linebacker, nothing. Okay, so just scratch what I said there. Right end, left end, uh, left guard, Roderick Bruce tight end what do we got cameron smart vertical threat he's about 6'2 from oklahoma state a catching traffic a catching b deep route a to c run block welcome to the squad what <laughs> like no doubt welcome to the squad draft recap shows that that left end was a 72 so we're gonna have it rough we got a left tackle who's a 75 why did we draft the left tackle uh we got it also we got mad depth though over here we got lots of depth we fulfilled this draft heavily courtesy of the Niners thank you very much so we just have so much depth on the team now so that's good I think that's really good to have um quarterback situation is still the biggest uh concern and Tommy I hope is the is going to be the presumed starter we changed up his little we also got to give Durant Armstrong his uh, star depth because I don't know why they changed it he had a lot of sacks I think he led the team in sacks so I don't know why they try to disrespect my mans like that but quarterback, we still have a penalty with Daniel Jones, but we're going to start DeVito anyways. And left end, we have Gary Dwyer. He's going to be the starter. We have a million right ends. Why do we have so many right ends? 
Why do we have so many right? Can you go somewhere? We have like 12 right ends. What is going on with all this? We got a rookie here in Ken Frazier. Why do we have so many right ends? <laughs> Just taking up so much depth. Like, play the other side. <laughs> play the other side, my friend. Durant's. I'm actually still very happy I got you. So I'm going to keep. Make sure you stay at that star dev. Uh, nose tackle. We're set there. We, we drafted a new guy into Joshua Austin. So that's going to be good for us. He's a future starter. And. Uh, okay. Let's make sure that we set up tommy to be the starter so tommy i'm expecting big things i'm expecting big things this season you're a 75 uh take over just yeah just literally go off go off for us literally need you to go off there's nothing more to it except go off so you do that and we're set defense you already know what i expect so yeah let's do this so we're three and four we actually just beat the cowboys 35 to 30 that's actually really nice Discuss your quarterback's recent success. Recent success? That sounds pretty nice. Coach, Tommy DeVito is coming off a stellar game. Is he in the process of taking the next step? We'll find a doubt. We'll find a doubt. He's the, he's the guy. He's the guy. Let's see. Wish upon a superstar. Okay. Whatever. We're facing the three and four Vikings who have just, obviously, Justin Jefferson. So, Deontay Banks is going to have a huge matchup. But I have my faith in him. You know, I think he's taking that next step. What? Our offense is ranked ninth. Tommy DeVito is ninth in passing touchdowns. 13 touchdowns, three picks. He's finally having that season. Finally. Saquon's doing really well, too. Xavier Worthy has 29 catches, 434 yards, and five touchdowns on the season. Defense, I need to see take sacks. We don't have any. Kayvon has two and a half. Nice. Dwyer has one. Oh, my gosh. We, the pass rush is non-existent when our no stack, who's a run stopper, has to lead the team in sacks. But nonetheless, offense is doing well. That's what we want. So hopefully by the end of the season, things are a little bit different. We actually made the playoffs going 10 and 7, third in the division. Eagles went 11 and 6. Cowboys went 13 and 4. Giants, playoff football. It's back. It's back, believe it or not. And we're facing the Niners in the wild card depression. But Saquon was third in the league in rushing yards. Okay. Which is what we like to see. Offense was finished 11th. 5,000 yards on offense. Defense finished about 26. DeVito, 28 touchdowns, 11 picks, 103 passer rating, 66 completion percentage. Not bad. Saquon, 305 carries, 1,500 yards, 13 touchdowns, 5 yards per carry. Love to see it. Wendell Robinson was the lead receiver of 57 catches, 90, 955 yards, and 9 touchdowns. Xavier Worthy was here with 62 catches, 823 yards, 8 touchdowns. So very fast offense nonetheless, but I'm glad with that. Whoa, whoa. I think guys finally listened to me. Dexter Lawrence had 13 and a half sacks. Kayvon Thibodeau had 10. So he he bossed up finally, like what I've been wanting you to do. Durant Armstrong had six sacks. Gary Dwyer had three. Ojolari had two as a starter. So that's fantastic. Bobby Okereke led the team in tackles and interceptions. This game makes zero sense. But we're in the playoffs. Playoff football is here. And we're facing the Niners. I don't know what to expect, but Tommy DeVito's first playoff game against that Niners defense, it could go, uh, we lost 27 to 20. I'm not mad. I'm not mad with that. I'm actually not mad with that at all. I don't think Giants fans would be mad with that either. That's playoff, that's playoff football. 20 to 27. Tommy in his first game had a higher passer rating than Brock. Okay. Got sacked once through one pick, 225 yards. Brock pretty threw a pick and got sacked twice. Saquon played a little bit worse than... Christian McCaffrey, he made more use of his uh, attempts. Oh, I forgot they had Marvin Harrison. So Marvin Harrison Jr. and Xavier Worthy both went off. Both went off against each other. They did They did well. They did well. So did Wendell Robinson, too. Five catches, 60 yards. So I can't complain with that. Defense, we got two sacks. So Dexter Lawrence and Bobby O'Kirky came to play. And Cameron Byard, Banyard, a rookie cornerback, got a pick. So I guess whoever he is, he's him. And Giants are back in the playoffs. Tommy DeVito is finally playing well. What are the... Nah, I don't... There's no way Tommy will make the Pro Bowl, right? There's too many quarterbacks for him to make the Pro Bowl. But we have an 85 offense, 85 defense. I think the rebuild went well. Super Bowl 60 is the Falcons and the Bills. That's weird. Quarterbacks, Hamels, whoever that is. Jalen Hurts and Dak Prescott. Saquon made the Pro Bowl as well. Uh, receivers, none of our guys. Tight ends, none of our guys. Offensive line, Andrew Thomas made it. Love to see that. 
uh, D-line, Dexter Lawrence made it. Kayvon Thibodeau made it. Bobby Okereke did not make the Pro Bowl. Isaiah Simmons made it, though. Okay, the hate is real. Corners, none of our guys. Safeties, none of our guys. Okay, a couple Pro Bowlers. Can't complain with that, honestly. We finished with 85 offense and defense. Giants are back in the playoffs. Tommy DeVito is the quarterback. He's going to he's gonna be the guy to bring them to where they need to. Xavier Worthy's in 84. We got new pieces on the offensive line that actually work out well. Andrew Thomas and Schmitz Jr. developed well, and we got a new tight end. So, and defense is just fuego, so we can't, I can't complain. And we got this gem at corner here, like, <laughs> just sitting here. So, he's the new guy. So, Giants, in this franchise, you guys are looking good. Yeah.